What's going on everyone? Seth here, Disc Golf Strong. So we have a group of our Inner Circle members going through the first ever Disc Golf Strong Performance Academy. It's a six week academy to help them build the foundations of what it means uh, to both train and compete as a disc golf athlete. So they've already done the prime disc golf athlete, the mobile disc golf athlete, that was week two. They're, in the, they're finishing up right now the stable disc golf athlete before they move into the powerful disc golf athlete next week. So this week is all about stability for them. So what I wanted to do in this video is just to show you, uh, first explain a little bit into why it's so important for you to improve your stability uh, if you wanna be able to maximize your potential on the course and also lower your injury risk and why the stable disc golf athlete moves into becoming a more powerful disc golf athlete, okay, which is the next week for them. So stability in our joints is so important. You can have so much power potential that you're not able to access because our, our number one goal of our brain uh, is not for us to be able to throw a disc as far as we can. Okay? It's to be able to protect you, to be able to keep you healthy and functional as a human being. So you need to get permission Okay, to be able to tap into the potential you already have, to tap into that power. And a key component of that is uh, proper stability in your core and your joints, okay? Uh, right now, I'm just gonna talk about the hip joint, but you wanna be stable in your shoulder and your scapula, okay, your shoulder, your shoulder joint and your scapula, uh, which is your shoulder blade, your core, your hips, okay? So in the hips, why are the hips so important for stability? If I go to throw, okay, and I'm losing, I plant my foot and I lose stability here, okay, I can't stabilize in this hip joint so that I can come around and follow through and feel really strong and stable in that joint. And instead, I lose that strength and that stability inside that joint and now I'm jutting out this way. That's gonna lead to potential injury, but it's also going to be pulling us back. Okay? My brain's not gonna say, hey, uh, you can't stabilize in this joint that well, so I'm going to allow you to express as much power, as much force and rotation in that joint as possible to potentially injure that joint, no. Now, can you do it? Yeah, your body, you're going to be able to do it, okay? Just not sure how well it's going to, uh, you're gonna be able to do it, okay? You're gonna potentially be holding back potential that you have, you just don't know it, and how long, okay? You can only get so many reps into that and that compensation of that hip uh, before things can start to happen that are not gonna be beneficial for you, uh, both acutely right now and in the long term as a disc golfer. So one exercise you can start doing, uh, both as an assessment and an exercise, is a hip airplane, okay? So we got the single leg deadlift. That's one of the key exercises we do at Disc Golf Strong uh, in our programs, because disc golf mostly happens on a single leg and in a staggered stance or an offset stance. Very rarely, okay, besides a straddle putt, are we usually like this, okay? We're always offset or on a single leg. So we got the single leg deadlift here. That's why it's so important. That's why it's one of our training exercise is this single leg deadlift, okay? here but now we're going to take the single leg deadlift and we're going to do what we call a hip airplane we're going to really challenge our stability this challenges our hip stability okay but we're going to challenge our stability to see how well we can stabilize while also moving our hip joint when i go to throw i plant i'm now on a single leg as i come through and i'm rotating okay that hip joint is rotating our whole body's rotating okay through our heel or our uh, and our midfoot, but we see how well we're rotating, being able to control that rotation. So we're gonna go with a limited range of motion here on this to start out. So I'm gonna be single leg here. I, I suggest either barefoot or a barefoot kind of shoe. This is a zero, okay? There's not much underneath it. Uh, so try barefoot or a minimalist barefoot shoe when you do this. I'm gonna come back into a single leg deal. Let me show it to you this way, better angle here, okay? And do a single leg deadlift and I'm only gonna do it just a short range of motion okay here and now I'm going to open up my hips okay I'm rotating my hips and my torso and then I'm gonna bring them back down okay and kind of close my hips I can you can reset okay come back here make sure you're not rounding your lower back okay here open Close. I'll show it to you once from the front here. Come here, come back. Let me show it to you this angle. Okay. Come back, let your body rotate. Okay, my torso my, is opening up as well. I'm holding that for a long time. Okay, and then come back down, 
close it. I go to throw, I'm sitting back here, okay? I'm rotating and then I'm exploding, I'm opening up, but I'm in that flex position in the hip first, okay, here, and then I'm controlling that rotation. So that's the hip airplane. You can eventually move it to where you're here, where you're into a single leg deadlift, really, at the bottom, and then you open, and then close, and then come back up, okay? So that's a more advanced. Start out with the limited range of motion first, and then you can move up. But that is why, that's one of the reasons why stability is so important, and that's why it's such a big part of both the inner circle, and what we teach at Disc Golf Strong, and also the uh, Disc Golf Strong Performance Academy uh, when they're moving through the, st the stable disc golf athlete, power disc golf athlete, okay? So that's it, hope that helps. Try that out on both sides, it's both an assessment, to see where you're at, and it's an exercise. Thanks for spending a couple with, minutes with me. As always, train disc golf strong.